My name is Sarah Chindi Kawesa. I'm the CEO of and founder of Biovixel Limited. Um, coming from central Uganda. I'm residing in uh, UK and uh, Uganda as well because my investments are in Uganda, so I live in both countries at the moment. I'm in a business of uh, research and development. Uh, we are into biotechnology. Uh, currently, we are researching on uh, different products uh, adding value to agriculture. Uh, one of the products we're doing at the moment is hair. This hair is uh, made from uh, banana fiber. What we're doing at the moment, going around in the country, telling banana producers that we will buy the soda stem from you. We show them if they want to do the extraction from themselves, we show them how they do the extraction and then they sell us the fiber. We take it through different chemicals and then after that we start uh, softening it in different processes until when we come to the desirable strengths which can turn into hair. So far we have about uh, 60 employees, some are casual, some are full time. We are producing uh, 50 kgs of a finished uh, uh, product, but we have the capacity to go up to 3,000 uh, kgs a month. We've uh, called upon people who want to be our super dealers. We've got some who are interested in uh, Australia, others in the UK, others in uh, America. But we are still recruiting super dealers and uh, we're going to make sure that we automate most of our services so that the prices are coming down because currently the prices are still high. Our local people can't afford it because our disposable income in Uganda is still low. But uh, automating the processes will bring the prices down. So I'm sure that most Ugandans and other Africans will be able to use our biodegradable hair, especially if we go ahead and uh, teach them uh, uh, how bad is synthetic hair, uh, ruining our soils and also ruining our uh, water resources. First of all, I would thank uh, the people in diaspora who have been involved in uh, investing back in uh, Uganda because we need to bring our money and our effort back to, to where we came from and also to create jobs for, for our people. Uh, secondly, I would uh, encourage them to invest in agribusiness because uh, that way we are producing food uh, and uh, we can add value. There is a lot of work we can do to our country and uh, at the same time to agricultural businesses. I would like to thank uh, FAO for organizing this and UAA for calling us to, call, to enter the competition. It was very, very good for considering us because sometimes you put in much effort but no one is aware of what you've been doing or even not seeing your, your innovation. So, but I'm very, very glad that uh, they, they came across us and then uh, we won this award uh, and it's going to push us because we've been sweating for so many years uh, putting this uh, product on the market but at least there is a recognition and uh, uh, people are going to be aware of what we're doing and why we're doing it. Thank you so much. <laughs>